So there I have the uh, scoop program. I'm not going to go through this again. I'm just going to let it run so that you can see it. Okay. Yeah. Um, initially, what I do is to make sure that the legs are all initialized correctly. Okay. Uh, the scoop program also makes a certain check that all the legs are all responding, the sensors are all responding, okay? It's like a self-diagnostic which happens. Um, so I just keep this leg on. Okay, so um, here it begins. You have to watch uh, quite closely. I've deliberately slowed down the motions by certain certain uh, uh, speed settings which I can do for each leg motion. Okay. So if you watch carefully, like um, this leg raises, protracts, drops, hit Raises, protracts, drops. So that's the life of each leg. But what it has to do is before it can raise, it has to ensure that this guy is down. Okay. And similarly, before it retracts, it has to ensure that this guy is up, so that the drag doesn't happen. And you can see that the protraction of this and retraction of this is triggered simultaneously, which is what will fail in a sequential program. So you might have to watch it a little bit there. Yeah, what will happen in a sequential program? Sequential program, what would happen is this would raise, go forward, and before it drops, this retraction I see. Yeah, because you can't do the minutes like that. I mean the. Uh, but if you had an onboard controller, mm -hmm. wouldn't that work fast enough that you would yeah. not see that performance? Uh, yeah. Here you see a little bit latency. As soon as this guy drops, I want this guy to raise. I mean, like really in a millisecond difference. Okay. But you, you see, it, the precondition evaluation takes a little bit of time before it says it's okay. You can see the stateful behavior of the signal. I pull, I pull, pull the robot up, and it stopped working. Because preconditions are not satisfied. So if I drop this and the leg says it's down, then it's done. Almost as good as a cockroach. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay.